Hi, are you in need of a wireless display monitor for up to 12 monitors? Or you need screen cloning or any other Windows desktop duplication software? You don't need to go far. Here we have the software that is very friendly and very close to you, which is Space Deck software. And it's very interesting and nice to use. Now the software promises to be very interesting and it delivers according to its promise. So here we have the primary server for the main PC. Then here we now have for the secondary machine as the client, which you need to download on them. So for this sample for educational purpose, I'm going to use this PC as the primary PC. Then I have on the left here, I have one of the PC I'm going to use. I'm going to use as the secondary machine and this other one I'm also going to use as the secondary machine so let's start out with the first one so on this PC I've already downloaded the software for the primary PC and already installed so I have it here already running and it's running on my and it's running on my wireless network so the Wi-Fi is connected to a tree uh, computers so and I have this IP address and the speed is 150 megabits per second which is quite good for the work that I would like it to do averagely good for the work that I want it to do so and this other PC the two other PCs are connected to the same network now the first thing is to launch this one that is the uh, software the driver software for the primary PC that's the server then on the other two PC or install the Space Deck Viewer software, which is the client software, on the other two. So let's check the interface for the client software. Now, having installed it here, I have it here running already. So this name that I seen currently is the name, computer name of this PC. The PC, the first PC here, which is the primary PC. Or the server and that's the name that's indicating here the primary PC server and the computer name is this the same is also applicable to this PC I've already installed it and it's showing clearly that it's in the primary server and also the computer name now back to this PC, we have this already here. Then, if we check on the local area network, there's nothing connected to it because we have not connected, I've not connected it to this server. So, to do that, I'll go back to the client PCs to make the connections. Now, I'll double click on this, it will show this first, then, after some time, it will respond. So as you can see here, it's displaying what is on the screen of the first one. What is showing in this small area here is what is going on here. And one of the reasons why it is showing quite small because under our setting, we did not change the resolution here. So before we start it, we need to change the resolution. So presently we have to disconnect this so that First thing we need to do before we, so the first thing we need to do before we connect it to the server we need to work on our resolution so let's check the list of the resolutions we have here so over here this is the native resolution of the PC then we have this is the resolution is going to display our work then we'll apply so once it is connected to the server it will display it in full screen Let's also now we move to the second PC, which is the primary the, the client PC. We we'll move to it. We we'll also change the resolution. So changing it to this one and apply.
So we're back. So we're back to the second PC. So once we click on, click on this for it to be connected. So this is what happens. It comes this way. So once we maximize here, the display, we still have some black areas here and here. And this is showing exactly what is on this other PC here. So that is what's going on here. So we repeat the same process for the second PC. So click on this. Then it will display this. Now the reason for it displaying this, now it has changed from duplicate to extend. So on the main system, on the server system, we need to change our setting here. Now do Windows P. Now select extend. So once it is on extend, the other PC, the two of them can be displaying the same thing, similar things, while this one is displaying something different. So we can go into the settings. So we'll move into our display settings where we can see what is going on. So now what we're seeing here is this is the primary monitor, which is this system. Then you could see the PC2 and PC3. So presently, let's identify, let's see if it could be to relate with the three of them. So once we click identify, this is one, two, and this is the third one. We click again, one, two, and three. So we can have our arrangement this way. You can also have much more than three pieces that are connected to, two pieces that are connected to the main server. And we can also change the position. We could also change the position of any of these. So let's send a particular work that we have open to any of these displays, any of these monitors that are displaying. So I have a work here, a movie that is playing here. So I can send it presently to the second, to this computer here. So if I move it this way, so presently it is moving into, into this PC now. As you can see, the more I drag it this way, it moves in here. So let me bring it back. Then here, let me adjust the position. It means the PC here is PC2. So So we can arrange it this way. Then after arranging it, let's still identify. Still have this is system one, system two, and the next is the third system. That's this one to the left. So let me have this video that's playing here. So I can drag it this way and it's on this PC can maximize it and I can also get full screen. Then I have okay so here I have another work which is um, PowerPoint so let me resize it and now move it from this PC which is far right to the third PC, which is towards the left-hand side. So since here I arranged the third one, 
third PC to be on the right, that's here. So it means I have to drag it towards the right hand side so that it will appear here. I'm going to start dragging it to the right. Let's take note, it's coming out here. So presently it is on this PC here. So we can maximize this way. Now we can see that the three different works we have this PowerPoint here. We can edit anything we want to. Then now we can move to this PC here, Microsoft Word. Um, do any other work or preview here then on this one on the left hand side account